This is Farah from Farah Farah and this is my travel vlog to Istanbul. So in April 2021, I decided to have a four days trip to Istanbul. I flew from Berlin Brandenburg Airport to Sabiakokan Airport. After landing to the airport, it's your choice. You can take a bus or a metro, which would cost you two euros, and it would take about two and a half or three hours for you to reach the city center. You can also take a shuttle, which would cost you about 11 euros. I decided to put comfort before money and shared a cab with another solo female traveler, and both of us ended up paying 20 euros, and it took us one hour to go to the the city center. Turkey is a place which is super affordable, it's amazing and whenever you are there you can have a luxurious trip without breaking your bank. So whenever I go to Turkey I stay with Hilton Hotel chains and this time around I decided to stay at Conrad Hilton Hotel. I reached the hotel about 6 p.m and at that point everything was closing down at 7 p.m because of the covid anyway so on my first day I decided to just explore the hotel. I decided to go to the old district which has most of the travel destinations in Istanbul and everything is closed on Saturday like over the weekend I chose Friday in order to be here and enjoy everything and surprise surprise everything is closed but anyways the museums are open so we just came here to come to the Blue Mosque and and Topkapi Palace so hopefully it's gonna be good and it's rainy <laughs> couldn't be a worse time to come here but it's pretty anyways I don't know what it is about this place whenever I go to Hagia Sophia even if it's fully overrun by tourists it has an air of peace and calm to it that it feels like it touches you on a very deeper level. I am always, always spellbound when I see this historical building. And after the Hagia Sophia, I went to Blue Mosque. Blue Mosque, again, is a very important, big travel destination in Istanbul. So whenever you are in the old district, you know you have to go to Grand Bazaar. To me, Grand Bazaar is, is a little bit overrated in terms of buying stuff from there. I am yet to find a good spice or anything in, in a reasonable price from Grand Bazaar. I never buy anything from Grand Bazaar, but I always go and visit it because of its historical significance. <laughs> day of walking and gallivanting through Istanbul. My next stop was the hammam. I cannot tell you how incredible the hammam, the Turkish hammam experience is. It is really quite unlike anything else. There are hammams which are more than 400 years old. If you're in Istanbul, after a long day of you walking around the city, go to a hammam. You cannot miss it. You just cannot miss this kind of incredible experience. So after the hammam, I took the food to go because unfortunately this time around I could not really live the nightlife and food scene of Istanbul because all the restaurants were closed and you could only take away the food. 
so if you're looking for a food which is hearty satisfying it it's affordable then turkey and istanbul is the place for you my third day was an unfortunate day because it was completely pouring rain so i decided to stay at the hotel get my hair done and i decided to go on a walk by towards the end of the day hey guys this is what i like i'm literally walking on this like huge kind of like slopey area and like behind me people are walking their dogs and now behind me is the sea it is the sea behind me i love these kind of like slopey area so if if in istanbul there's nothing to do what you can do is walk around just walk around there are so many things to walk around you walk every time and you'll be like wow wow that's what you're gonna do like every step of the way i found this little village town called orthokoi it's in bishiktas district this is something which is not much explored by travelers look at that there is sea behind me it's so awesome and i just like i was walking and i just discovered this neighborhood look at that look at that what wow it's so great <laughs> there is so much more about istanbul that i've traveled and i want to mention those places so domobachi palace there are so many more palaces you have to check all of them out if you can you cannot miss Taksim Square. It has a very political, religious, historical significance. Better than Istiklal Street, Istanbul is the ultimate shopping hub. Bosphorus, the, oh, I could not get it this time, but when you are there, take a grand tour for tour throughout Bosphorus. At night, in the morning, doesn't matter. It's beautiful in any time of the day. If you are in Tur Turkey and Istanbul more than four days, you have to take a one-day trip to Princess Island. It's it's a combination of nine islands. It's uh, it's traffic-free, so there are potentially only cycles and horse rides. And this place feels like it's still stuck in the past. The the name is quite rightfully so. And if you have time, do have one day in. Princess Island, you will never ever regret it, and it is some place you would remember forever. So, guys, I could talk and talk and talk about this beautiful city. I think it does not get so much attention from the rest of the world as, as it should. If you could, please go to Istanbul, share, comment, like, and subscribe my videos. And I hope you liked it. I know I'm not a travel vlogger, I tried my best and yeah this is it from my side i love you guys so much i appreciate all of your support and i will see you in my next video bye